Hello, Tayo! Click here to subscribe! visited the construction site. Yo, hello! Whoa! What are you doing? Oh, we're tearing down the building because it's too old. I am gonna build a cooler building! At that moment, there was a strange noise coming from the building. Huh? What's this sound? The heavy equipment got scared. Well, it turned out that the cats were making the sound. There was the mother cat and five kittens. Uh, it was just a cat. It's not safe to be here. The heavy equipment didn't know what to do because they were so worried about the cats. That's when Tayo spoke. Why don't we build a new house for the cat at the empty lot? I'll help out too. Really? This is getting fun! I also agree. In the end, the heavy equipment decided to build a new house for the cats. 
First of all, Billy and Chris level the ground at the empty lot. Yo, heave ho! Whoa, that's really amazing! Tayo and Dury brought the materials from the garage warehouse. We also <laughs> need wood, bricks, and paint. Oh, this is heavy. Then they got together and started to build a building. Aw, I'm tired. Cheer up! We gotta finish this before dark. Meanwhile, Max made sure that the cats were safe. Phew! Look at me! At sunset, the building was finally completed. Ta-da! A special gift for the cat! Ta-da! Whoa! We now have a cool house for the cats. You can play as much as you want now. The cats got excited and went inside the house to play. There was a comfortable bed and a soft pillow in the house. The cats came near the heavy equipment and rubbed their body against them because they were thankful. <laughs> it tickles! All the friends smiled with joy. Early in the morning, Tayo came across Joy while on his service. Joy, what's wrong? Hey, Tayo. We were supposed to have a circus show next week, but it got canceled because the crews got injured. When the little buses heard the story that evening, they decided to help out Joy because it sounded fun. <laughs> <laughs> On the next day, the little buses visited Joy and told her they wanted to perform in a circus. Really? Thanks a lot. Let's begin our practice right away. Tayo practiced juggling and Rogi practiced ring jumps. Ah, there's too many balls. I don't think I can jump over. I am scared. Lonnie practiced the trampoline, while Connie practiced the headstand. Somebody help! Oh. Oh. I'm so tired! A few days later, the little buses decided to give up. Practicing is so fun! This is totally <laughs> That's when Julie and friends visited them. Hey guys, I heard you guys are doing a circus show. Awesome! I promise I'll be there. The little buses couldn't say they gave up because they didn't want to disappoint their friends. Hey guys, let's try our best until it's over. The little buses began practicing harder than ever for their friends. A few days later, it was finally time for the circus show. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you the Little Bus Circus Team. First.
First of all, Tayo did some <laughs> cool juggling. He played with three <laughs> balls very skillfully and never dropped a ball on the ground. Whoa, that's amazing! Rogi yeah. ran toward the ring that was burning furiously with yeah. fire and jumped through the ring bravely. <laughs> Whoa, that's so cool! Lonnie did her jumping on the trampoline. Yeah. She went high and almost reached the ceiling. Yeah. Lonnie is certainly the best. At last, Gani did her headstand performance. She stood on a small ball with her head. That's really amazing! Although practicing wasn't easy, the little buses made patient efforts and were able to perform the best show. Catch me if you can! Ah! Watch out! Oh no! Speed is driving the road at full speed! Speed! You're gonna crash if you don't slow down! <laughs> don't worry about a thing! Friends were worried about him, but he didn't pay much attention to them. Gotta keep the signal. Oh no! The road got messy because of speed. Yeah! Ah, I am scared! Oh no! Little friends got scared because of speed. This is fun. Ah, my stuff! Stuff in the store turned into a mess because of speed. That's when air appeared in the air in front of speed. Huh? You gotta be kidding. Stay where you are. But speed, who was at his full speed, bumped into a pile of stuff on the road. Uh, this is a railroad. Whoa. I gotta move. But Speed's body didn't move Whoa. because it was damaged. Somebody oh. help me! That's when Dury, who was just passing by, oh. came over surprised. Hold on! Uh, I'll call up a car that can help us! We're in trouble! Speed got into a car accident! Dury shouted aloud and ran. Meanwhile, Speed became more and more scared because he heard the train coming from far ahead. Uh, don't kill me! That's when Dury, who was riding on Tayo, appeared in a hurry. Speed, hang in there! I'll come and save you! Whoa! In the end, Tayo saved Speed! Whew, what a relief! It was so close! Speed, what made you like this? What? I was driving uh, too fast, you know? What? Uh. Uh, I should have listened to you guys in the first place. Speed felt regret and burst into tears. 
Dewey brought over the puppy he used to take care of the garage. <laughs> That's so lovely. <laughs> I want to have one too. Hannah, can we have a dog too? No, garage is dangerous because there are a lot of bosses there. <laughs> Hannah felt sorry when she saw the little buses who were about to cry. Is there a way out of this? That's when a good idea came into Hannah's mind. On the next morning, Hana brought over a cute robot puppy. I specially made this for you guys. Good. Really? Yeah. The little buses named the puppy Brown. Brown, let's all play together. Get back safe. <laughs> Friends went over to the playground together. There was Dury at the playground. Let's play hide and seek together. Good. Brown quickly figured out where the little buses were. That's amazing. Little buses really liked clever Brown. That's when they saw a kid walking toward a deep pit. Watch out! It's dangerous there! They're building something! What should we do? Bow Wow! Brown ran to the kid in the blink of an eye and saved him. Brown! You're amazing! The little buses cheered. Thanks for saving me. I didn't know it was dangerous because I can't see very clearly. Oh, I see. That should be very uncomfortable. That night, the little buses were troubled because it seemed like the blind friend really needed brown. On the next morning, the little buses visited Hana. Hana, <laughs> I have a favor to ask you. A favor? What is it? After a while, the little buses and Hana came to visit friends they met yesterday. <laughs> we meet again. What do you think happened? I'll give you Brown as a gift. <laughs> I think we can be good friends. Really? Thank you very much. Little buses were sad to be apart from Brown. But two happy friends were very glad. Oh no! Ruby the garbage truck is giving a big sigh. Ruby, what's the matter? Hey, Tile. I am off work tomorrow, but I don't think I can rest because there's no one who will do the cleaning. No way. Then do yeah. you want us to help? Cleaning? It's a piece of cake. Are you sure? That would be awesome. Yeah. Ruby jumped for joy. The following day, Tayo and Dury came over to do the cleaning for Ruby. <laughs> Let's finish it quickly and go play. Excellent. Yo, team, ho! The two began cleaning very hard. Tayo gathered the trash into one place and Jerry swept the dust clean. 
After a while, the playground started to become clean little by little. This shouldn't take too long. We're amazing. That's when little buses suddenly came over in a crowd. Yeah! Oh, hooray! This is exciting! Oh. <coughs> oh. This time, Speed and Shine came running at full speed. Let me give this a try. Huh? No! This time, <laughs> little buses came in a crowd and started playing hide and seek. Catch me if you can! In the end, the playground became messy like in the beginning. <laughs> no one's on my side! Tile was about to burst into tears. And he cleaned the place over and over again until dark. Eventually, the two finished cleaning late in the evening and came back home. That's when Ruby, who did the cleaning without complaining every day, came into Tayo's mind. Ruby would have had a hard time cleaning every day. I know. The two became embarrassed for thinking that cleaning is easy work. On the following morning, Ruby came back from his vacation. But all of the friends were gathered at the playground. What is happening? Ruby, sorry that we made you do the cleaning alone this time. From now on, we'll also help you. It should be a lot easier if we do it together. It turned out that Tayo and Duri asked them together. Thanks, guys! Ruby was very happy by the friend's words. Whoa! It's gently snowing at the playground. Tayo and Duri made a snowman with white snow. Lo and behold! Wear the scarf, and then you're done! <laughs> That's adorable! Both of them really liked the snowman they built so hard. After a while, when Dury came back, he was worried that a snowman might be lonely. If the snowman comes alive, I would play with him all night long. That's when a shooting star sparkled in front of Dury. What happened? It was a silent night and someone began knocking at the window in Dury's room. Huh? H who are you? Hey there! I am the snowman you built! Whoa! It looks like the snowman really came alive. I don't understand. What happened? <laughs> Let's go play together. There are a lot of cool things. The snowman took Jerry and began flying in the sky. Whoa! Amazing! Shall I now go pick up Taya? The snowman flew to the garage in the blink of an eye. Tayo was very surprised. Huh? You're that snowman! Hush! Follow me quietly so friends don't wake up! The snowman made an ice car using 
sync his magic. Then everyone began driving the road at full speed. Hurrah! This is fun. The snowman <laughs> made a cool tree using his magic. Then everyone got together and decorated the tree beautifully. Whoa! It's glittering. The snowman made a delicious ice cream using his magic. Whoa! It's so delicious. Oh, I can't even eat. After a while, the friends started playing snowball fight with each other. Whoa! Take my snow! Gosh! Stop it, Tayo! When dawn broke after some time, the snowman made a sad face and said goodbye. Guys, thanks for playing with me today. I came alive because you guys made a wish for me. But the magic spell will be broken soon. Make a wish for me again when winter comes next year. What? No, please don't go. Oh no. The snowman melted because of the sun. Let's make a wish again <laughs> next year. Yeah, I am gonna make it stronger this time. They were sad <laughs> and promised each other to make another one next year. Early in the morning, Tayo was driving his car. That's when Duri came over with a smiling face. Tayo, I have a gift for you. Look, this is a painting I drew. Thanks for giving me a ride all the time. Whoa, really? When Tayo saw the gift, he was very delighted. After a while, Tayo came across Rogi, who was letting out a big sigh. There's my favorite concert tomorrow, but I don't have time to go. Tayo wanted to help Rogi. I'll go driving for you instead because I am off work tomorrow. <laughs> what? Are you serious? Thanks, Tayo. Rogi was excited to see the performance. That's when Hi. Hana, with a troubled look, Hi. came into sight. Hana, what's wrong? You know, Hi. I lost the tools I just bought. They should be somewhere around here. Really? Then let's look for it together. Rogi and Hana searched the surroundings from top to bottom and finally found the repair tools. Hurrah! <laughs> Thanks a lot! After a while, Hana found Luri, whose car was broken down. Huh? There's something wrong with the engine! Help me! Hana took out the repair tools and fixed Luri in the blink of an eye. Whoa! You're certainly the best! <laughs> You're welcome. After a while, Luri found Duri, who was about to burst into tears. Huh? I am lost because I am here for the first time. picked up Duri and went <laughs> straight home. But Tayo was waiting in front of Duri's place. <laughs> I came because I also have something for you. Ta-da! Whoa! 
Oh, there is a cool robot in the box. Whoa, this is what I really wanted to get. Then, with an embarrassed smile, Tayo spoke. Thanks for being with me all the time. Let's be good friends no matter what. Of course. <laughs> Today is the happiest day of my life. All of the friends made a big smile. Yippee! 